Welcome to uh, DTV. I'm uh, with Ricky Pettard in the lead up to uh, his 50th game this week. And Rick, um, it's a great milestone for you. You've had to overcome a lot of injuries and setbacks. Uh, what's it mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot, mate. Uh, especially to play for you know the Melbourne Football Club, the oldest club in the world. And um, yeah, to, like you said, overcome some hurdles that I've had to. And you know, I think when Bales was here, we had a chat with him. We sat down. I think I've missed about 50 games just through injury, and that's not including the ones I've been dropped for a couple of times. So it's uh, it's taken a while, mate, but finally got here. Some of the hurdles you've had to overcome have been pretty significant too. I mean, even in your first year um, when you you know they had, had the lung injury, can you just reflect on that? Yeah, yeah. Looking back, it just seems so so long ago now. But um, you know, it was my first year, it was my ninth game, and yeah, obviously uh, the doc, doc pretty much saved my life that day, which is still thankful for. But you know, I've had the you know the dreaded osteitis and um, also a shoulder rico, so I still feel relatively young, even though I'm you know age wise I'm pretty much in the middle tier of the uh, of the group, but. And I still think like we've got a lot to learn and a lot to improve on. What's been the most challenging for you to sort of overcome along the way? Um, yeah, probably just getting through a pre-season like I did last year and, you know, feeling pretty good about my body and um, then, you know, getting the shoulder done against um, North Melbourne in round six after, you know, I played a string a couple of good games together and, um, yeah, just to overcome stuff like that, it, you know, it does take a toll, but, you know, once you're back the next pre-season with all the boys again, you seem to forget about it. Yeah. Came to the club sort of as a midfielder, half-back type, and, and you've probably made your name at Melbourne as a forward. Um, how have you found that transition and adapting to that role? Yeah, they're, they're throwing me around a bit. It's uh, it's it's good. It, you know, you never expect to come, you know, get drafted in one position and then end up playing another. So it was, um, it's been a good transition up forward. The boys have welcomed me pretty well, and um, slowly now pushing back into the midfield and just having you know four or five minutes each quarter in there, which I really enjoy. And um, yeah, as soon as I get my tank a bit bigger, I hopefully get through a bit a bit longer. A couple of games, I mean, you've played some fine games for the club, but I guess a couple of moments, uh, the game against Collingwood last year when you, you know, kicked four goals and had the heartbreaker just towards the end and, and of course, being the sub, the first sub for Melbourne. Can you just sort of uh, look back on those for a sec? Yeah, there's a, you know, there's a couple of games that always sticks out. You know, I think in my first year we beat Collingwood in the, in the Queen's birthday and there was about 80,000 people there and that was, you know, always a highlight for me and... Yeah, obviously last year with Collingwood, um, you know, I think I, I like to play good against Collingwood as everyone does. But yeah, there's been a good like the sub was a really good experience. Um, you know, too bad we couldn't get away with the win, but that was a, another really good game. Yeah. And just uh, some of the highlights. I mean, there's been some interesting times, but some of the good times for yourself at Melbourne. Yeah, I suppose the highlights for me are just are just winning. You know, we haven't the group that I come in with. You know, James Frawley and Cole Garden. We haven't had too many wins when you look at other people in our draft who are you know have gone really really well and been successful at their clubs. But just the wins and just winning with the boys and that feeling is just a massive massive high for me. Yeah. Leading up to fiftieth, I mean, again you've you've faced a bit of adversity this week. How's that been? Just dealing with what you had to earlier in the week with the McGinnity situation. Yeah, the McGinnity situation on the day, it's not, it wasn't hard to handle that. It was the stuff afterwards that the people perceived of me and just wasn't correct. But what I've learned, like what I've learned, is you know the people around you and the closest to you, as long as they know the, you know what's going on in the story behind it all, it's uh, that's all that really matters. Some good stories to write for you uh, long term about your, your milestone anyway, but. Uh, uh, just looking ahead to this weekend, I mean, what's it going to mean for you? I mean, it's, a, it's an important game for the club, but I mean, it's an important one for you too. Yeah, it is an important game for the club. You know, Richmond always come out pretty pretty fiery against us. And, you know, got Aaron Davies 150th, which is, you know, triple mine. And, and it's a really good milestone for him and, you know, just from where he's come as well. So we hopefully get over the line for Aaron this, uh, this weekend, yeah. yeah. How are you sort of uh, look back on your 50th? Uh, it's taken a long time to get here, but I'm finally here and just hopefully I can string some more together. All right, mate. Well, best wishes for it. It's a long time and much deserved, mate. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it.